don't she? On top of that, she good for me. Made me wanna say, even though I got plenty. If I'm down to my last penny, I still gotta. This is the NFL on EA Sports, and football has returned to America's finest city, San Diego, California. Tonight, we reach the unofficial midway point of the season with a good Monday night battle, as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Sentinels of San Diego. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Here's Walker to start the drive. Now he's loose at the 40. Inside the 20. And touchdown! Ken Walker. He has career touchdown number 78, tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the Sentinels put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. Footing likely going to be an issue all night here on a rainy night, but this one is good. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Jalen Hyatt, his intended receiver, and it's second down. But you look at this defense, and they played well against the pass, currently ranked seventh in the NFL. And while teams don't like to talk about it, they're pretty proud of their rankings. But this ranking is going to be put to the test today because they're going up against a top-five passing offense in this one. Mahomes will try again on second down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That is their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And boy, down a touchdown already, but they're going to line up to go for it on their side of the field. They'll try and throw for it here. And incomplete on the deep ball. So certainly an interesting call there to go for him. And that will force a turnover on downs. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media 
right? The social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Yeah. Because I think the team's going to look at him like, Coach, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe us some explanations. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Up the middle, here's Walker. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Kenneth Walker, his seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Sentinels have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And it's now 14-0. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. The Bengals drive about to get going. And there, of course, was a lot of talk about this ball game coming into play. Two division leaders in the AFC. Could this be a potential playoff preview down the line? Yeah, and I think when you're talking about the talk about this game coming into play, you're talking about me because I blew up your phone all week prior to this one. I was so excited about this game because, to me, it's not out of the realm of possibility that these two teams see each other again down the road. I like this matchup. They match up very well against each other. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. It's complete to Brown, right side. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. But you look at this defense, and they played well against the pass, currently ranked seventh in the NFL. This secondary has really developed into one of the strengths of this team. They diagnose, they cover, they run, they hit. What a nice team. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. So more problems here in this first quarter. Already two scores down, and here they give away the football. And if I'm the head coach, I think it's time to start lighting a fire under some of these guys. Now, you have to do it within your personality. They can't perceive it as fake. But I'd go get after some guys because they don't look ready to play to me. They look flat, uninspired. It's time to get moving. He'll take this to the 46. So, Charles, you look at this offense, and really on paper at least, a great situation for them upcoming. They're unbeaten on the year, an open week coming up after this. So I guess my question, any worry that maybe this is coming at the wrong time? Oh, definitely I would be worried about this game, maybe more than any other on the schedule, because I know my guys are looking ahead to that open week. I've got to keep them focused on the task ahead, make sure they take care of business in this one. Otherwise, you're talking about a double trap, the trap of losing the game and then having the open week and having to stew about it. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. Walker now on first and 10. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back -back two yard losses, and that sets up a tough third and 14. Well, this defense for the Bengals, they were very solid last week in the victory over Baltimore. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. 
So now what do you do on offense? Do you just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball? Or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback upright? And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And now they'll run it here off tackle. And some space here. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they've got it with a second and one coming up. Here's Mahomes to throw, and his pass incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Mahomes to throw on third and one. And that is incomplete. That close on third down, I think everybody probably expecting a run. Instead, they go to the air on third and short yardage. I realize this is a passing league, and they're liable to throw the ball on any down and distance. But that short, I do question the call. Run the football and pick it up. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. Mahomes going to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Bengals first down. And they get it easily. A gain of five on fourth and one. And again, it's Mahomes. Over the middle, it's complete. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. It's now second and six. Throwing now is Mahomes. Throw caught by Hyatt on the slant. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Mahomes now to throw. This is caught. Touchdown! Traylon Burks, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bengals have got it back to within a score. Well, defense will have to start doing something different because this guy's absolutely carving them up, especially down here in the red zone. He's been one of the top receiving tight ends here in the first half of the season. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So the, if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it and let's go with it. On second down, it's Walker. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in for the touchdown. Ken Walker on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Sentinels are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Carlson on for the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Powering his way forward. And he'll return this one all the way onto the other side of the field. In just about every special teams meeting, there's a discussion with the punter about his importance. Why? He can flip the field for your team defensively, move it deep into their own territory, or if you're backed up on offense and he can hit a big punt and change field position and help his defense, in this case, though, field position got flipped by the return team. You can do it so many different ways on special teams. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Jalen Hyatt, 47 yards. And the Bengals are back within a score. Well, that didn't take long. The turnover instantly almost turning into points. And when that happens, a lot of teams have the mentality of let's strike right now. You've got them off balance after the turnover or the takeaway. Let's go get it. And that's exactly what they did. Yeah, Tucker now to add the point after. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. Boy, they're down only one score, still first half, but they're going to line up for the onside kick. And it looks like this one won't work out. Hands team able to secure the football. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. To the right side, this is Walker. And he'll work down inside the 45. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time. But any team will take that type of run each and every time. A 
A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Right side to Williams. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Finding Williams once more, complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. This duo locked in, 14 yards there, and a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Allen going to audible to a different look. From the gun, it's Walker. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. At the 20-yard line. They run again with Walker, and that is not going to get it done either. Once again, he's stopped behind the line by this Bengals D. Back-to-back two-yard losses, and that sets up a tough third and 14. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The run hasn't worked the last couple of plays. Now it's third and 14. Allen off the play fake. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. And the Bengals are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Well, Brandon, there's no question who they're going to look to on third and long, but you can bet this defense knows that as well, so they've got him blanketed downfield. And this ball winds up being intercepted. The Bengals drive about to get going. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the defense got him the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they've got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. A gear for Walker running right. Down to about the 23. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On play action, Allen. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Running right, here's Walker. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. 168 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Back to Walker on first down. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Second and seven. Second and seven. 
This out quickly to Williams. Touchdown! Jamison Williams as the first half is winding down. And the Sentinels will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Mahomes now on first down. And brought in downfield by Burks. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So they move from 136 over to the other as they come up on first down. Slot man moves right. Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. To throw, it's Mahomes. This one downfield to Burks. And Way in for a Cincinnati score. Traylon Burks in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bengals are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today, it's track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far and fun to watch. So, barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And we'll still have time for one play before the half as this will be fair caught and brought out to the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And you wonder if with Allen's arm, they might just take their chances by dialing up a long one. That pass caught, it's Williams. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And 
and we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And they've got it. They recovered it. Wait, hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Yeah, you got to wait until that ball goes 10 yards. They did not. They hit it before, and that draws the flag every time. And there's no doubt in my mind that converting an onside kick has never been tougher in the NFL with the new rules. So trying to get it to 10 yards, timing up perfectly, that's tough enough to begin with. But when you go ahead and grab it before it goes, you've got no shot then. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of four. Third and seven now. Now Mahomes. A quick throw there is incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Mahomes in the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. going to go on fourth down he's going to let this go back of the end zone and it's incomplete they cannot convert and they turn it over the Bengals try it but it doesn't work out and as a result possession switches hands the offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive we have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Here's Walker, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A loss of two there, second down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Walker with another carry, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game, and if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards? Throwing now is Allen. And it's caught. That pass play good for seven, but it still brings up a fourth and goal. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. They'll run for it. It's Walker. And he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. He had three touchdowns already, but won't get a fourth here. And the Bengals are going to get the football back. 
Well, they knew who to turn to on fourth down. Their horse, they needed the short yardage. He just couldn't get it. And that's a surprise because normally that's bread and butter for them, right? Hand it to the big guy, let him go, pick up the first down. Didn't get it there. All credit to the defense. Usually, even if they know he's coming, he can't be stopped. And they got it done on that play. Here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle and all the way to the 25 before he's hit and dropped. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, they were backed up to start the drive, but how about that aggressiveness? Firing it downfield right away. Nice job there getting out towards what would have been their normal starting position. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. I think that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders got to add to the lead directly. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And this is fielded just short of the goal line, but the fair catch means this drive will begin at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines to run in court for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. On second down, here's Mahomes. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if this Touchdown! Darius Davis from eight yards out. And the Sentinels have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Bengals 21. Daniel Carlson set to kick off. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in there. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Minka Fitzpatrick. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber, 
I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years, but here we go. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one goes for 30 yards. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. Operating from the red zone now. Allen trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. Boy, a big play right there. I mean, a touchdown on this drive could have really put some separation on the scoreboard. Instead, it's the defense who scores. And partner, we got a game again. And we do have one because of what you just described. A defense that understood what was going on in this game and did something about it. They knew their offense needed some help. They just provided it. They're back in this one. Tucker with the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. And this one won't bounce their way. It's covered up by the hands team. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen, steal a possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. It's a gain of four. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and seven. They're going right back to Walker. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. Now this one now, not over yet, Charles. You've got a sliver of hope on that other sideline. You certainly do, because that would have made it a three-score game. And that probably would have been curtains at that point. But now if they can get down the field quickly and somehow get the ball back one more time, we may have a different ball game. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, they didn't fall behind any further thanks to that missed field goal, but still staring at this fourth quarter deficit. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about, and you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well 
to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. A shot downfield for Burks. And unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Now Mahomes got to have this one. He's got his target. That's complete. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. That completes. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the... Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They'll find Williams on the slant. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. There he goes again. He's on his way. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. And what a big-time play there. 68 yards. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. Again, it's Walker. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Kenneth Walker, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Sentinels add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Fair catch, going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. On first down, Mahomes. That one finds Hyatt. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Bengals! Jalen Hyatt, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Bengals have got it back to a two-score game Justin here in the fourth. Tucker now for the extra point. And it's no good. No, he misses the extra point. And our score stays right where it is. Two scores down, two timeouts at their disposal. This is a critical onside kick.
team does its job. They're able to secure it. That fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now a run with Walker. And he gets it inside the 35 and just show the 30. Give him 18 on the play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Right back to him on first down. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Ken Walker, 32 yards. And the Sentinels are poised to move to 8-0 as they extend their lead even further. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Pat Sutan. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost as if they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game? Well, they've said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. Hand off here to Walker. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. And Walker once more. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down. Walker hitting the ball is held. And the Bengals grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, let's see now, Charles. That's seven turnovers between last week and this week. Three here in this game, four in last week's game. You know I do my research, right? And I go all the way back to the best coaches that have ever been in this game. And all of them started with ball security in some form or another, understanding that taking care of the ball was the key to winning games. They can't believe what they're seeing right now because they spend all this time on it with the fundamentals, taking care of it, tucking it away, and they're not doing it. 
And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. And the Bengals first down. Mahomes now on first down. And now here's another interception. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Charles, are you kidding me? Four interceptions? I mean, that's a good season for a lot of defensive backs. A lot of reason to get voted into the Pro Bowl. When you have four in one game, that means talk about a campaign slogan, right? I got four. Send me to the Pro Bowl, guys. What a game we've experienced watching this one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On the give, it's Walker. Kelvin Joseph that time in on the tackle. And they're going to speed things up here. They'll give it up to the big man, Walker. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. On the handoff, this is Walker. Down to the 22-yard line. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. This is Walker. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. They'll keep it on the ground. Walker. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. Oh, wait, hold everything. A timeout has been called. Seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game. On third down, here's Walker. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So for the home team here, they continue to cruise as they move to 8-0 now on the game. Yeah. If I did it, then I did it right. Yeah. This ain't happened for me overnight. Yeah. Bet it gets me, you gon' pay the price. Yeah. Down the business, I ain't playing nice. Yeah. So ahead of y'all, I'm out of sight. Yeah. When you pop it now, I wanna slice. Yeah. Be the envy, that's a part of life. Yeah. Mediocre, that just won't suffice. Better, now than ever. Ain't no cracking under pressure. The boy is clever. If I did it, it was stellar. Nobody fresher. Stop complaining, man, my head hurts. Like, I've been smooth for so long, I'm trying to get rough. Buffing my nails, dog, I'm trying to get buff. Shaping my beard up, I'm liking the scruff. The hills, cause I'm living my life in the cut. Can't imagine that I'm gonna meet my wife in the club. We gonna see though, I feel like she more of a CEO. Or maybe she doing volunteer work in Rio. It's not like I need her, but I would love to meet her. Another day, another dollar, another phone with another feature. I don't play goalie, but I'm my brother's keeper. Surrounded by family, I'm not. I can teach you how to get cake. It's not the whole thing, at least a little slice. Honestly, I'm an immaculate anomaly. I'm an organic organism. Ain't